How to Promote Offers Through Podcasts. There's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't promote related offers in your podcasts. They are your podcasts, so you can do what you want. Nobody is going to try and persecute you for promoting in your own podcasts. It is a lot easier to stand out with podcasting than with other forms of media. The competition in podcasting is a lot lower than video. And if you have had the courage to record your voice and make it public, then you should get something in return for your efforts. Just follow these steps to promote offers in the best way. Use subtlety. We would always recommend that you get a few podcasts under your belt and build up a following before you start to promote offers. When you do start the promotion of offers, don't make it too sales-oriented as your listeners will not be happy with this. In the beginning, it will take a while for your listeners to get to know you, so don't hit them with offers right out of the gate. This is very unlikely to work, and you will probably lose a lot of listeners if you do this. You need to be more subtle. We understand that you have put in a great deal of time and effort, and probably money, to create your podcasts. You want to get a return as soon as possible. But you have to be patient with podcasting, and your promotional messages must be subtle. One of the best ways of making a promotion is to mention it in the intro and outro of your podcast. So, at the beginning of the podcast, tell the listeners who you are and provide a bit of background. Then, announce your offer and tell your listeners that there is more information in the podcast notes if they are interested. Start the podcast normally after this. When your podcast ends, just gently remind your listeners about your offer and tell them to check out the notes and description for more details. All you are doing here is sharing the information with your audience. There is no hard selling involved. Providing value is your top priority. All of your podcasts need to add value, and you need to think of a good way to interweave your offer into this subtly. A good way to do this is discuss pain points with your listeners and telling them that you have the answer to their problems and can relieve their pain. The answer, of course, is your offer. Tell your listeners about the benefits they will receive by taking up your offer today. Explain that the product will provide the solutions to their problems. Help them by guiding them through how to use the product so that they can benefit. This approach is a helpful one rather than a sales-oriented one. You are teaching your listeners how they can solve some of their problems, which will be appreciated. Of course, they will need to purchase your offer to find out exactly what they need to do, but that is fine. People do not like to be sold to, but they will always appreciate it if you are trying to help them. This is the promotion strategy that you need to use with your podcasts. Other successful podcasters have been doing this for a long time because it works so well. Provide alternative offers to your listeners. The same offer is probably not going to fit well with all your podcasts, so you should have some alternative offers lined up that will help your listeners. Never be shy when it comes to promoting another offer. If you don't have a product of your own that is a good fit, you can promote someone else's product for an affiliate commission. Your aim with any offers that you make needs to be to help your listeners. If an affiliate product is the best way to do that, then go for this. Your listeners will respect you for letting them know that these products exist to help solve their problems. Always promote quality products and services. If you're going to promote an affiliate offer, then check it out yourself first. If you promote something of poor quality, then your reputation will take a nosedive and you could undo all the hard work that you have put in.